In this video, I'll use the GMIC filters, which stands for Gray's Magic Image Converter. There will be a link down below on where you can obtain this filter to load into GIMP. So I'll open a recent image, which is this one here, and it's an image of a waterfall I took in the mountains. Now I go to Filters and Gray's Magic Images. Now I uh, in the Artistics, come down and I click on Pencil. I click the mode which is the uh, new layers. You click on that one which makes a new layer instead of just using your own image. Click Apply. And then OK. Now this is where a little bit of fancy comes in. You go to the mode button and come right down to value. Click on value and now you've got that sort of picturesque pencil type drawings with colour. Here's another one. I'll just go another one. I'll go to open. Now I'll go to open or open as a recent one. I'm going to open a recent, go to this one here. This one's a view of the Blue Mountains overlooking the Katoomba. So click on that one there and bring it up to uh, 50%. Now in this one here I'll make it a poster type of filter with a little bit of fancy again. I go to Gimmick, uh, Gmic and then come down to Artistics, where my Artistics and then choose Poster Edge. Once again use the uh, new layers. Click on that one and make new layers. And it doesn't show it very well there but I just move it up and you can see on that brickwork and what all the cliff face what it does. Now it takes a little while to render this one because it's a large image and I'll pause the video while it's doing the rendering. And then click OK once it's done its uh, application. Now you can see the type of format it does. So I'll move that up to the top. And then on the top image I go to Modes and Overlay. And you can see now how much it's brought it out. Uh, I'll, go, I'll drop that back a bit, 25%. So you can see now how much it's changed. If I left it as it was, you see the trees there, if I turn the eye off on the top one, you can see that the trees are blurred and it's not so clear. But with the overlay on the image, it brings it up nice and clear and gives you that nice poster edge effect. So uh, once again, I rate the video and there's a link below to a website where you can get a hard copy of this in a PDF format.